Uh, dude, I am super excited. Do you get you got the sponsors all laid out? Who are sponsors? Yes, our three sponsors. Yes. No, we only have two sponsors. I don't know why you keep saying three. three. There, there we are two. Actually, we actually no, there, there's sponsors. two sponsors. This is me. We're I don't happy. know whether or not you got the email in the third one. No, I, I wrote. I even wrote back to Frederic saying double complete sponsors. I didn't say triple complete sponsors. I said no, we have two sponsors. It was sponsors. after you sent that email, though. She sent an email back and said, oh, no, by the way, let Brian know. I'm about to uh, not stop checking my email because I'm going into a lead room where I can't get any cell signal or, or Wi-Fi signal. But um, before I do that, I want to let you know that there's three sponsors and uh, there's the two that you guys already know about. And there's one that I want you to keep mentioning throughout the episode. It's a new Twit sponsorship called Mention Throughout the Episode Sponsor. So, so it's uh, really, really uh, exclusive. Not a lot of people use it. May not even show up ever again. But uh, it's just throughout the episode, a lot of little things are going to be sponsored by uh, by this client. Uh, this this sounds, this sounds, I mean, forgive me, uh, this sounds highly unlikely. It's extraordinarily hard for me to believe that this is a deal that they would have done. Twit has a very sophisticated, consistent way that they handle sponsors. And I don't understand this this mention it throughout the episode thing. That that doesn't make any sense to me. I t help me out here. Just just who who is the third sponsor? Disney. Yes. I mean, what are they, they're advertising the parks? Uh no, no, no. A specific uh property that uh is coming out in theaters. Like, like the, uh, this the Toy Toy Story Three or No. No. It's in it's in theaters. What what it's uh, uh it's a little it's a movie called Prom. I'm sorry, did you say prom? Prom, yeah. Like like the movie that you own in our summer movie draft league. I, oh, <laughs> that, that's a coincidence. That's a little, that's a little weird, isn't that? Uh, uh, yes, it's not weird at all because that's you clearly, weird. you, you well, I mean, anyway, listen, I mean, you know, we got to listen, the ad reads the ad read. I mean, like if, if you didn't use Squarespace, you know, you'd still have to talk about Squarespace, right? Uh, well, we have a Squarespace. I'm, we talk about Squarespace. Uh, okay, okay. Ad reads the ad read. I mean, I mean, but what I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, you're you're clearly trying to promote your own movie prom. I don't understand why you're why you're why you're even pretending otherwise. Uh, listen, Brian. I mean, you know, if there's one thing that we've always stood for on this show, it is an honest, forthright conversation with each other. And the audience, as well as Disney's prom <laughs> opening Friday. Who are you going with? Prom fever, catch it. Uh, okay, okay, you you can't Who's do that. We've always date? stood for that. We've always stood for that. No, you can't. You can't just say those things. I mean, I know you're pretending no. like this is what we stand for. But that's not even what we stand for. We don't do always, prom. Always, we don't we show our own movies. We don't. We don't advertise our own movies on the podcast. Listen, I mean, am I am I going? All right, so you you go to to Steve Jobs, uh, you know, lead uh, shareholder of Disney, and spit in his mouth and say, "We won't take your money, sir. No, we're going to throw it back in your face because I'm in a summer movie league and I bought things for fake money and I'm trying to win 120 dollars and that's why I don't want a competing movie to get attention. And so let me light your money on fire." <laughs> And then your face catches on fire, and then your face is scarred for the rest of your life. Uh, look, I don't know, I don't know what you're up to with your prom shenanigans, and I don't appreciate you recruiting our good friend of the show, uh, Ryan <laughs> Connolly. Who? No, uh, Ryan Connolly's trying to trying to uh, trying to sabotage prom fever. Oh, thank goodness, because somebody's got to sabotage it. It's a terrible movie, and nobody should go see it. That's why. Uh, and listen, it's a charming film that a lot of people will want to see. Bring bring a date. Amy T. Garden of Friday Night Lights is in it. It's going to be, listen, it's, it's a classic tale. I, I think you should take your daughters. I think there's ne it's never too early for prom fever. That's, I'm not, I'm not going to take my seven-year-old <laughs> to go experience a movie about an institution where girls lose their virginity. I'm not going to have anything to do with it. I mean, listen, you have to raise your kids the way you want to. Uh, you yeah. know how I'm going to raise them? Is watching yeah. a badass action flick about people who steal cars and tie safes to the back of their cars, like they're barefoot water skiing through the middle of a downtown city. That's what I'm going to show them. Well, that sounds very violent to show a seven-year-old. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about because sounds, uh, there's nothing really, better. Really there's, oh, look, as a matter of fact, it turns out Fast Five is in theaters and IMAX. 
this Friday. What kind of movies are big enough to be worthy of showing up on IMAX? I'll tell you what. Amazing movies that'll blow your brains out and kill you, leaving you dead and your rotting corpse sitting there in the theater. That's how amazing it'll be. Prepare to die, Fast Five. That's their new slogan. Well, I mean, that that's that's very nice, Brian. I think that you're just, it's great. You know, just go ahead and hog up the Twitter airways with unpaid sponsorships. That's fantastic. Uh, look, uh, that's, a weird, that's a great, that's a great way to go about things. They're, they're paying me. No, they're not. Uh, sure they you, are. You just said that and you are obviously making this up. Okay? No, no. I got a very legitimate email from Frederique before she went into a lead room <laughs> inside of which she could not be contacted. And then she warned me personally, don't believe anything that anybody who claims to be me says either on the phone or on email because it's a doppelganger that's been running around and really causing a lot of problems for her. And uh, that's, you know, uh, this is what I got that professional courtesy and now you're just yelling about Vin Diesel and the rock I I'm sure I don't even know okay. what you're talking about all right uh this is all I'm saying is uh you know what you know what'll be amazing is this movie right here <laughs>